Hi, I'm Tom Wade of Mill Group and Chevrolet. What I'm going to go over with you is the Corvettes. Uh, a lot of people are not really aware of how the Corvette is built. They just see a car. To give you an idea, the construction of the car is absolutely amazing. GM has one of the largest hydroform plants in the U.S. and in the world practically. What they do is they super hydroform the side frame frame. Super hydroform means one solid piece of steel that is shaped for your side rails on both sides, which gives you more protection and better rigidity. Then if you look, your engine's going to have a, what we call an aluminum crater. That's what the motor places down here. That's for weight distribution. The car's weight distribution is actually 50% front, 50% rear. You have saddlebag gas tanks, which is a crossover network, and that balances out from left to right, which gives the car almost a perfect balance. What that means to you is a shorter braking distance. As you can see, the body looks really sleek. They have a special paint of these. Now, what this body is made of is made of composite. Composite, you will not have to worry about dents or dings because it will flex and the special paint they use on it is a flex paint. So therefore you don't have to worry about it getting all chipped up and all uh, messed up. Like the old Corvettes used to have fiberglass and you had stress cracks. You will not see that on these new Corvettes. If you look on the inside, this one is pretty well equipped. What you've got is you've got your navigation system in the center of the console. At the dashboard on the top, in the glass, you will see your speed mode. You have different modes. It's a reflection of the glass. It's what they call a heads-up display. You can also check all your information on your car, like your tire pressures, your oil pressure. You can check your battery just by pushing a button inside without getting out of the vehicle at all. This one is also equipped with Bluetooth. You have OnStar. You also have XM radio. This car is very well underpriced compared to its competitors. This one also has a Bose sound system in it. Now you have an automatic transmission, what is called an algorithm transmission. It almost has its own memory according to the way you drive. Then if you want the option of shift, you have paddle shift on the steering wheel and you just pull it down to S, which is for shifting. And if you want to do the regular drive, just put it in drive. They've also gotten a lot of extra safety equipment on the car. You have steel bars in your doors for protection. You have an aluminum frame on the vehicle. It has practically a roll bar built in here. It can be a convertible or it can be a hard top. The top is made of aluminum. And what it does is it's got three easy pops. You just pop them open, pop the rear, lift it out, place it in the back, you're ready to go. If you're going to take a trip, you want to do a, a vacation, you can actually put plenty of stuff in the back here. You've got 22.4 cubic feet of room in the rear of a Corvette, which they never used to have. Now you can take a trip in it, put your luggage in it, two golf bags, equipment, and enjoy the car just like you would any other one. This one is equipped with the dual exhaust system, which is called a performance exhaust system, dual mode. What that does for you, it jumps the horsepower up by six horsepower. It's got two valves that actually open up when you throttle the car, which will shoot the exhaust straight out for high performance. You have 19-inch wheels in the back, 18-inch wheels in the front. This one has the drilled high-performance rotors, front and rear, wheel and a lock brake is standard on this car. As you can see, this is the Grand Sport. This is the special edition that they have come out with. It has the Z06 features of the Z06 body, but they changed the cowls on the side, which is a lot more elegant, a lot more attractive.